Happy Thursday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I am back with four work from home job leads that these companies, they will train you. And the great thing about these jobs, uh, some of them are weekend only. You can set your own schedule, no interview and no phone. And these are part time jobs as well as full time. Now, before I get started, I want to remind you on this coming Sunday, November 3rd, 2024 at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be going YouTube live. I'm going to show you how I optimize my resume resume to pass the applicant tracker system. So share this event with everyone you know that could benefit from it and grab your coffee, your tea, and your snacks. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So if you want to attend, make sure you attend on November 3rd, this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Now I'm going to dive right and straight, straight to the jobs here, okay? So the first job that we're going to be talking about is Wedfully. They're seeking wedding hosts to work from home. And the great thing about this particular job is that you only are going to be working on the weekends. A lot of y'all have reached out to me and said, I'm looking for weekend jobs. Here you go. And the pay is $17 an hour. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to remotely host and run wedding live stream by following wedding timeline in a detailed order and timely manner. You're going to MC and host virtual wedding guests, as well as you're going to provide techno assistance to virtual wedding guests. When you go down here to be a successful candidate for this position is available to work weekends and holidays for clients events. You have to have a reliable Apple laptop, fast internet connection, and then strong computer skills and excel in a fast paced environment. And if this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply by clicking here. This is job number one. Now we're down to job number two is where we localize. The great thing about this job, it doesn't require no interview. You can set your own hours. You can work when you want to work. And this is a part-time job as well as a no phone job as well. Now they're seeking entry-level AI data raters English in the United States to work from home. When we scroll down, we're looking to see how much we're going to get paid. The salary is $16 an hour. This is a freelance position, which is a 1099. They want you to work five to 15 hours weekly, set your own schedule. That is the great thing about, about this here. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, they want you to be proficient in English, US. You must be located in the United States, web savvy and able to work in a fast paced environment, excellent online research skills, attention to details, and then you must sign a non-disclosure agreement to protect client and confidential, and you must pass training and require quality tests before starting work. That is what they want you to do here, okay? So basically, when we go up a little bit, let's, we're just gonna see if they have anything else to, to offer. So basically, your main duties is you're gonna engage in diverse tasks and projects related to data management, which may vary depending on the project requirements and op, uh, objective. You're going to also follow project specific guidelines to conduct research and you're going to partake in a training session and workshops to enhance your skills and knowledge. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is scroll down like I'm doing and complete your application. This is job number two. OK, and this is a part time job. Job number three is with the same company, but it's a different job title. They're seeking re re we localize is seeking remote internet search quality raters, English, United States to work from home here, okay? Now, this is a part-time position here. They do not list a salary, so I take upon myself to research. And according to Glassdoor, the starting salary is $15 an hour. It could be more depending on your experience. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, is they're seeking English speak speakers to help support their client project as an internet search quality rater. In this remote position, you will answer different types of questions with true and false answers. There are also simple quality tasks that are more true and false queries as well as needs met tasks that you rate on a sliding scale. And then when you go down a little bit further, the hours of Mondays through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Again, this is a 1099 job. They want you to work a minimum of 10 hours per week, up to 29 hours per week, set your own schedule. And they're looking for someone to start as soon as possible. W-2 part-time employee, payment every two weeks. And then the uh, how long you'll work on this project right now is 12 months with the possibility of extension. And this is a work, it's based on project needs. Weekly hours may vary. 
And the great thing about this company, they will give you benefits, medical insurance, the dental insurance, vision. And if this is something you want to do, go ahead and apply. Now, they do have state high restriction listed at this current time. They are hiring in these states, but you can always explore within the company and see if there's any other states, um, you know, that they're hiring in. And if this is something you want to do, then all you need to do is scroll down like I'm doing and hit the apply button. This is job number three. Now we're down to job number okay, four, but I want to, before I go to job number four, I always like to research and say, is there a, a, really a interview at um, this company we localize? And they stated here, there is no interview, really no interview for this position here. So I just want to throw that out there to you. Okay. Now we're going to opportunity number four is where work and solution. They're seeking customer benefits enrollment representative to work remotely and when i scroll down here we're looking to see how much we're going to get paid it says you can earn up to fifteen dollars and sixty cents per um, productive hour paid by the minute work with 54 minutes an hour guarantee contractors can earn an equivalent of twenty dollars per hour with incentive that will be offered during peak time so you can go up to Twenty dollars an hour. They do offer flexible schedule opportunities. You create your own schedule. Hours of operations: the seven a.m. to eight p.m. Central Standard Time, Mondays through Friday, and may increase during open enrollment. And then when we go up a little bit further here, just to see what you this what type of job this is going to be. This is a seasonal opportunity and a great way to get started with worker solutions. Open enrollment season is November eleventh. Through December 9th, call volumes will be highest during these dates with lower volume prior to and after open enrollment, apply today to be considered. So you're going to be answering calls from home. And when you scroll down here, um, the skills that you need is uh, ability to provide excellent patient and empathy customer service, excellent verbal and written communication, tech savvy. You have to be that and then have a quiet workspace where you can work. It goes over your technology requirements. And then when you scroll down a little bit further here, you can go and view all openings. But if this is something you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply. Scroll down like I'm doing and complete your application. This is job number four. OK, you know that I'm going to always talk about if you're struggling to pay your bills, you may need help with either a free laptop or a low cost laptop or you need help with your food. I'm going to go over some organization. Again, this is only in the United States. It's United Way 211. Service provide free and confidential assistance to connect individuals with local resource for help with utilities, housing, food, and other essential needs. You can go to the website 211.org. Even government assistance program, they offer um, financial aid for those struggling with bills and assistance for housing, utility, food, and health care. You go to benefits.gov. There are so many organizations out here, as you can see, um, I'm scrolling on, you know, the, on the sheet here. Maybe you may say I need a free laptop or low cost laptop. PCS for people provide low income individuals and families with refurbished computers, Internet and digital literacy support. You're going to go to PCS for people. Also, the ONIT Foundation offer free computers and Internet access to low income families with kids in K to 12 students in the U.S. You're going to go to the ONIT Foundation. There are so many organizations out here that are willing to help you. You just need to take advantage of it. All you have to do is visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low cost laptop. Follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include providing proof of income or need. Always explore local resource and community organizations as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those who are in need. OK, so make sure you go and check this out. Maybe you need help paying for your internet. In order to work from home, you have to have a high speed internet. And here's some organizations that are willing to help you. We're going to skip over number one because as of June 2024, they no longer have any funding. But number two, everyone own partner with internet providers to offer low cost internet service and affordable device to low income household. They also provide digital literacy training. They offer plans starting as low as $10 a month through partnerships with providers like Comcast, Spectric, and others. You can go to Everyone Own. Also, the PCS for People provide low-cost, high-speed internet and refurbished computers to individuals who are at or below 200% of the poverty level or receive government assistance. They offer unlimited 4G 
LTE internet starting at $15 per month with no contract. You go to PCS for people. There is a lot of organizations out here that will help you if you need help getting your internet paid for or they can see what they can do to make it a lower cost okay so take advantage of this maybe you may need free training there's training for every job positions out here you know whether if you're data entry you want to do data entry customer service accounts receivable um, it type of work there is a whole bunch of opportunities um, that you can go out here and take some courses for free and you can go through Coursera. They offer free courses from top universities and companies on various topics, including business, computer science, and more. While many courses are free to audit, you may need to pay for a certificate. EDX provide free courses from universities like Harvard and MIT. Similar to Coursera, courses can be audited for free, but certificate require a fee. So there's different organizations out here, as you can see scrolling on my screen, that you can take notes and say, hey, I can go out here and take some courses where I can up my skill to take me from plan A all the way to Z. So take advantage of it. There are some free things out here to do in order to take you to the next level. OK, you know that I talk about resumes every single day because that's very important. If you need a job, your resume has to pass the applicant tracker system. And I'm going to keep saying mark your calendar for November the 3rd. That's this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I will go YouTube live because I'm going to show you how to optimize your resume the way um, I learn how to optimize my resume so I can help you increase your chances of passing the ATS. So again, mark your calendar for this Sunday, November 3rd, 2024 at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all know I tell you all the time to stop paying somebody to do your resume for you. Stop paying for resume template. Earn Better is 100% free. All you have to do is build your profile. Once you build your profile, then you'll be able to come to this page. The great thing about it is you're able to search for remote jobs on this platform. But I ask you to do your own research because like I always say, it is a, still some job scammers out here that are posting fake jobs and trying to get your information. I always say do your research for a peace of mind every job before I even post them or do videos on I reach out to the hiring managers recruiters CEOs of the companies and make sure that these jobs are legitimate even though I go through a lot of hoops y'all I go through a lot of hoops but I do it for it to save y'all time and I tell you that if they're asking for money up front run is a red flag that it is a scam okay but you're able to um, apply for jobs on this platform you know as you want to do now once you apply for the jobs it also tracks the jobs that you apply for like to my left it, it keeps a track of all the jobs that you apply for now when you go into interview prep a lot of times um a, a lot of people don't know what kind of questions that they're going to ask in the interview, but you want to be prepared. So after all the jobs that you apply for, AI has generated an interview sheet sheet. So say, for example, if I'm interested in quick mad claims, the posting specialist here, I can click on the interview sheet sheet. And this is my interview sheet sheet right here. It's giving me questions, top interview questions and potential response tailored for this role. So it's giving you the question as well as the answer. So all you have to do is reword it and make it your own. Um, what interests you about the job? What kind of environment do you thrive in? And when you scroll down a little bit further here, it's giving you general best practice for interviews like tips and tricks, talking about remember to use the STAR method, situation tasks, action results to structure your response, provide specific examples and showcase your skills and experience effectively. It's telling you that make eye contact and smile. Now they give you example questions you can ask your interviewer for this particular job and you need to ask least three of them or all of them or five. What are the skills and experience you're looking for in the ideal candidate? What are the next steps in the interview process? You can also download it and have it right beside you. Also, the great thing about this platform is that you can role play. When you scroll down, you can hit start practicing. When you click start practicing, there is a pre-recorder on the other end asking you three interview questions at your own pace tailored to your profile and job and they would grade your response provide feedback instantly and you keep improving it only takes five minutes to practice for your next interview so make sure you go check that out now we go to documents i'm going to show you how to do a resume all you have to do is click here you have a choice to upload your pre pre-existing resume or you can start from scratch if you're going to upload your resume 
here you go. But you want to make sure that your resume is saved as a PDF file. But I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. I don't have a resume. That's what you start off with. And you need to decide what job that you're interested in because remember your resume has to be optimized to each job that you're applying for so if i go back into um, this particular job here i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back into this particular job okay and say for example if i was interested in the wedding host i'm going to copy and paste this wedding host and then i'm going to go back into earn better and then I'm going to copy and paste the wedding host, or I can start typing it, but I prefer to copy and paste things here, and I'm going to hit save and continue, okay? So basically, here is my resume template. Earn Better is getting ready to build this resume template for me for free, okay? So when I say stop paying for resume templates, this is why, because you're getting four for free. You're getting classic, bold, clean or moderate for free. I say stick with the class or the clean because it's more readable. The bold, all this bold and moderate, it will mess up the applicant tracker system. Okay, so stick with the class. So that is what I'm currently have because it's a check mark. Now I'm gonna go into text and I'm gonna start filling out my resume. All I'm gonna do is put my first name. It's very easy. My last name, your email address, your phone number, the city that you stay in, and your state and if you have a LinkedIn account then I will put that LinkedIn account you have a choice to do a summary or you can switch to objective I'm gonna switch switch to objective and I'm gonna say seeking a and then paste and then I'm gonna let AI rewrite it to make it sound more professional than just seeking a wedding host this is original here's suggestion one here's suggestion two and here's suggestion three I'm gonna choose suggestion one go with what really works for you I'm going to take objective out of here and it automatically saves it for me. Now I can add my work experience here. I can click add work experience and whatever job that you did, that's what you put it here. So say, for example, if I did um, data entry, I can put data entry and I can say I worked for um, sick track and I could put the date, uh, the location, the start date and the end date. Now, I don't have a resume in front of me, so I'm going to go back to the current job and I'm going to pretend like I'm going to pretend like I actually did. Let me see here. Did this on a particular job right here so you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. And then I go back into earn better. OK, sorry about that. And then I'm going to copy and paste. Um, the job, uh, whatever I did on my job, I'm going to put it in here. I like to put my spaces so my bullet points can look, uh, you know, halfway decent here. And then you, what you can do is add your education. If you have a high school diploma, you're going to put it there. If you have a bachelor's degree, you're going to put it there. So if I have a high school diploma, I'm just going to put down a high school diploma. And then I could put down, you know, um, usually high school diplomas are general education. And then I could put down current high school and I could just put uh, Orlando, Florida, and then the graduation date if I graduated in 2019 in May. And then if I have any certifications, I could put it here. Like if I have AWS Clouds, Six Track 2024, and then it gives me the skills here. So basically what it did, it looked at the skills of the job title and say I need to implement this into my resume. So I'm just clicking on it. And I'm adding everything in here and you see it automatically saves it for me. So at this time I can share it. I can hit finish. I'm going to hit finish. And what I, when I hit finish, it takes me back to my resume here. I can look at it and this is how my resume look. It took under seven minutes to do it. Put my ed objective work experience. I may need to go in here and delete that space. But if you see something that's not right, all you need to do is go back into text. And I can go into, you can delete it, your work experience. You can go back in here and you can, um, like here, I want to take that space, delete that space out of here, and it automatically saves it for me. I can click out of there. I can go back in there and see, hold on, I can go to preview. And you see how I took that space out of there. So you are able to go in here and change it, tweak it the way you want it to be. Okay. Now, cover letters, there's a lot of times that I've seen on op applications that, Different jobs require that you have a cover letter. Again, I can go back into the same job 
if I'm interested in this job here, I can go back and say, I want to make a cover letter for this particular job. And I can go back to earn better and I can put the job title or again, you could type it in there. It's up to you. I'm going to hit save and continue. It's asking me, do you have the job description? If you have it, you can say yes. If no, um, they can still um, optimize a cover letter for you, but we do have it. You want to put the name of the company. Again, I want to go back here and see what the name of the company is. Wetfully. I'm going to type in Wetfully. Hold on. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into the particular job. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything starting at, at what you do all the way down to um, here. Just we want to get all the um, keywords in here. And then I'm going to copy and paste and go back to earn better. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that in here. And then all I can do is hit save and continue. So it's asking which resume that I want to go with. Of course, the wedding host. And then I'm going to scroll down and hit finalize my cover letter. So now it's finalizing my cover letter. It's getting it ready. It's doing all of this for me for free. So here is the cover letter. I could go in here and tweak it, change it the way I want it to be. Right now is a standard tone. I could choose a professional tone, confident, playful, informative, inspirational, and hit regenerate cover letter. It's up to you. You can share your cover letter, download it, hit finish, copy text, then hit finish. And then it suggests some other jobs that I can apply for at this time. I don't want to apply for any jobs at this time. So I showed you how to do a cover letter. The next one is we're going to do a thank you letter. So after you um, apply for a job, you want to do a follow up. A thank you is after you do an interview. So if I'm interested in wedding host, if I'm interested in this job, all I need to do is do a follow-up email. It automatically puts the job title, the company's name. All I need to do is find out the email address and put the email address and hit save and continue. And it says, tell us about this role, this position aligned with my career goals. My skills and knowledge are um, very relevant. You choose. So I'm going to choose the first one, hit save and continue. Once I hit save and continue, it's analyzing, it's customizing it, it's getting it ready for me, okay? It's doing all of that for me for free. So sometimes it can move a little bit faster. Sometimes it could take some time. So once you go out and get you some water, some tea, whatever the case may be, and, and here it is. This is a follow-up wedding host application. You can literally go in here and change it around, tweak it the way you want it to be tweaked. And then you can open your email. You can hit finish. You can copy text. It's up to you. And you can hit, um, I'm going to hit finish. Okay. So if I want to do a thank you email, you should, which you should be doing right after you have an interview, is putting the job title, the company's name. And all you need to do is um, <clears throat> find out who is, you know, who interviewed you along with the email address. So as you can see, here is the email address. All you have to do is hit save and continue. And it says, tell us about the interview. You learn, learn about the company mission, learning how the team works together. I'm gonna stick with the first one, hit save and continue. It is analyzing the job for me, it's finalizing. Here's the thank you email. I can go in here and tweak it, change it the way I want it to be. Again, you're gonna open your email or you can hit finish. Are you going to do copy uh, text? It's up to you. I'm going to do finish. So I show you that. Now, documents, all you have to do is go into documents. You're only titled to do 15 resumes. Once you do 15 resumes, it's not going to allow you to do it. Don't get in panic mode. All you need to do is find out which one you're not using. And you go to these three dots, hit delete, and you hit confirm. And that's all you need to do. Okay? Just remember, Earn better is 100% free. Take advantage of it. Save it on money for something else. Stop spending money on different things that you can literally do yourself because a lot of people have reached out to me and they paid and still can't get a job and still they never did get their resume. So take advantage of earn better is 100% free. Okay. Now, if this video has been helpful thus far, I want you to hit that like button. I want you to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be a part of Ride, you have to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. I want you to just keep pushing and keep believing, y'all. 
and stay away from negative people. It's always negative people on social media platforms, um, everywhere you go. You know, when God has put something in your heart, it's nothing that people can do. You have to follow God on what he tell you on what job to apply for, when to apply for a job. You will find a job real soon. You just got to believe in yourself. Don't expect for somebody else to give you encouragement and say, hey, you going to, you're not going to get a job. When God is for you, then who could be against you? I say it's a lot of people that have received job offers. They don't have an education. They may not talk right. They may not say things right. But when you're walking in the favor of God, God can allow hiring managers, recruiters to overlook a lot of things and get you in. You know, it, it doesn't matter. A lot of people think because they have a degree that they know more than somebody that don't have a degree. And that's not true. I have worked with a lot of people that don't even have a degree. They only have a high school diploma, maybe a GED, and they are more knowledgeable than somebody that has a degree. And that's the truth. You cannot judge a book by its cover. What don't look right on the, on the outside, on the inside, it could be right. So I say, you know, hiring managers, recruiters, can I go by the outside appearance? They got to go what's on in the heart because people have a lot to offer. And when you say, hey, you ain't, you're not qualified for the job, you losing a good candidate. And that's my belief. Don't judge a book by its cover. I believe that when a person goes in for an interview, all the hiring managers, CEOs, whoever's involved should be blindfolded where they're looking at the words, what they're saying versus their odd appearance. Because I do agree. Some people don't get the job because of their odd appearance. Some people don't get a job because they look like they don't fit in and we shouldn't be judged by that. All we need to be concerned about is, is this person is capable of doing the job? Is this per person going to show up every single day and do the job? That's all we're asking for. That's what I feel. And I'm just praying for y'all and praying with you because I know it's hard out there, but God is harder. I know that there's a more and more people that want to work remotely since, you know, what happened in the past. But the best thing to do is stand out from the crowd. Do something totally different that uh, your competitors are not doing no, in order for her, that hiring manager to say, you got, I got to hire her. Or I got to hire him. Always do a follow up. That makes the hiring manager know that you're interested in the job. Soon after you have an interview, send a thank you email. Let them know that, that you're concerned. Reach out to them and link in, you know, a week after that and let them know, hey, we had a great interview. I, I love it. And, you know, connect with them because a lot of people have received jobs on LinkedIn. Show people that you really need a job. If you show people that you concern, you could care, a lot of people will get jobs that way. But don't give up. Keep believing. Keep pushing. Pushing means pushing means pray into something happen. God is out there for you. He will provide. I know a lot of y'all saying, look, uh, my bills are due. I've been there. I know what it's like. I know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck. I know, you know, being at my very lows where I had lost my job and I didn't know how I was going to pay bills. I was literally eating ketchup and bread and I didn't tell my parents because I wanted to live like my parents wasn't here. And if I had told my parents, they'd be like, you need to come on home. But I, I did that because I wanted to be mature and grow up in case if something happened to my parents, I'm able to take care of myself. So that's what I did. And it just built my character. It made me stronger. I learned how to manage. I learned how to save. I learned only to go out and get what I need. Y'all, I'm not ashamed. I, I shop at Aldi's. I shop at Walmart. A lot of people wouldn't even set foot in Aldi's because they say, oh, I don't like that food. I buy only what I need. I don't get out here and buy these expensive clothes and shoes like everybody else. I have people in my family that spend three or four hundred dollars on the purse. That's just not me. I'm very simple. I'm satisfied with some five dollar paparazzi jewelry. That's just how I am. I'm just being truthful to you because you're my YouTube family. I don't have to have all of this. It's this stuff. I'm just something simple. I'm from a little country girl and we learn to appreciate things and be thankful for what God has blessed you with. You know, I learned how to make it off of certain things, certain foods. You know, when hard times got to going, my parents knew how to make something, you know, took one thing and make a meal, you know, and we was full. So again, I'm like, I'm from a little country town and that's just how it is, is I've learned to appreciate things more. And when you know versus somebody hand, hand 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 me some things i work hard for what i get 
And I'm here pushing you that you're not the only person went through a storm. I went through a storm. Sometimes I still go through a storm. When you're living for Jesus, you're going to go through something. And God say, remember, if you're going through something, remember, he went through it first. People don't like you for no reason at all. You know, some people get mad because you're out here trying to better yourself. As long as you stand at the bottom with them, they're happy. But the minute when you say, look, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I got to get me another job. I got to get a side hustle. They don't want to be friends with you anymore. That's okay. You want true friends. You want people that's going to have your back. That is why I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And I'm going to just tell you to keep pushing, keep applying, never, ever give up and don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. You got this. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So go out there and grab today what the Lord has for you. And many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.